baby peas. We're with Fergie breaking baby news, and yep, there's about to be another black eyed pea. Details right now on Extra. Extra. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Extra. I'm Dana Devon. Well, it turns out Sean Johnson's alleged stalker could have been stopped. He was pulled over on his way to LA, and he even laid out his plans. Next, style and an extra age-appropriate hair. Jewelry that's good enough for the first lady, so you might want to check it out. And details of our makeover giveaway, next. Did he react happily to the what happened today? He was happy. He was smiling. He was laughing outside of court. He was very satisfied with what went on. Now, consider yourselves warned when reporters attack. Yeah, you know, I finally had my chance to confront the soup's Joel McHale. You know, he called my kids stupid. Those are fighting words, Joel. Thank and you. let's face it, Dana, any interview that ends with someone saying uncle is good TV. And I'd do it again. That's because your kid's stupid, Dana Devon. You said that because your kid is stupid, <laughs> Dana Devon. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get it. You just broke my new wall. Ow! With the battle over for now, I want to state for the record that I'm pretty sure he was talking about my son, Joel. Well, I laid my eyes on some fierce fashions at the premiere for the movie The Women. That is until things almost got a little too R-rated with Will and Jada. Whoa! I gotta tell you, your little booty in this is so cute. Can you get a shot of just how cute that is? I would never let anybody do that to me. You are the only one. <laughs> How do you keep it alive? Lots and lots of sex. <laughs> you always said that. Ain't nobody rocking like this. He's the lovely Dana. Everywhere go, all I hear is this. Give it to me. Uh -huh. Give it to me. I must confess, and that's true. We keep it fresh. Just keeping it fresh is my main interest. Just staying consistent, giving him hits. I accidentally hit him. One hand! All right, I got a little secret to share, you guys. My co-host here can actually <laughs> sing. No, I can't. Can. And I'm telling you, you've been forewarned. This is really, really bad. <laughs> 1983, Michael Sembello, Maniac. Oh. And she's dancing like she's never danced before. Oh. Guess who popped in and surprised us? We were just talking about you. What were you saying? What your first thought was when you found out that Jada was going to play a, a lesbian in the movie. I was like, how come I didn't get invited to the party? <laughs> I told you. Oh, my God. I All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. Right. Right. They, they love there. each other too much. <laughs> Piss me off. From the Kodak Theater, here are Dana Devon and Mark McGrath. Oscar turns 80. Hello and welcome to Extra at the Academy Awards in Hollywood. Sarah Jessica Parker, normally a New York style icon. Yeah, but she brought some sex to this city. Oh yeah, she did. And the Golden Globe goes to Tina Fey, 30 Rock. Do you still have it? Because I didn't get it yet. No, they're going to send it to you. They took it. I tried to smuggle yours to sell it on eBay, and they're going to send it to you. They took it from me. That's awesome. My friend said it's just going to come in a box, and it's going to seem like I ordered it on Amazon. We heard, actually, that you only paid yourself a dollar for good night and good luck. So we enjoyed it so much that we wanted to give you the dollar back. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I'm taking it. This is like five lap dancers right here. <laughs> what do you wear under something like this? Thanks. Love it. <laughs> You look stunning, and the jewelry, oh my god. It's sick, right? It's sick. The rain shorts. Oh and they made me these rings today out of earrings. <gasps> Brass knuckles, but they're like so fancy you people. Win. How do you all feel after sweeping the entire SAG Awards? Great! Great. So, so bad in that movie. How did you get to be that bad? Well, there's always someone that you want to kill in some time in your life, so you'll think about that person. <laughs> it's jury number... Juror number three. Really? I am not at liberty to talk about the case. Are you the foreman? <laughs> I am not at liberty. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I cannot talk about it. I am juror number three. That's all you need to know. Here is Brad and Angelina. Well, I better get out of here. <laughs> so there's one scene where it's a little maybe awkward doing it in front of her husband. We had done it so much in the past on the screen <laughs> right. that it was kind of like doing an old exercise or something. I almost wore that. You did? You look incredible. Why didn't you wear it? Well, because Lane Bryant now makes all my stuff okay. for the award show. Is that too much? No, I needed it. That's no, exact, you didn't. That's exact, I haven't had binaca since the sixth grade. I know, right? How funny is but that? But don't ask me what I was doing in the sixth grade. Anyway, what were you doing in the sixth grade? 
what you need Banaka for. <laughs> that is not a Victoria's Secret. No, it's not. I was going to say, I don't know that one. <laughs> I don't See? know that one, and that, that looks almost like a nursing bra. I knew you were going to say that. I know. Day. You look absolutely smoking tonight. Thank you. Thank you. You, you look, look nice yourself. You look very I fit. didn't hear you. <laughs> very nice. Very fit. The red is working. Look at this. This is something. Else. Catch the legs. Catch the legs. Dunk, 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 Now, what about all the females here tonight? Are you, you're, you're open? Are you on the market? I'm single, yeah. You're single? Yeah. yeah. Anybody in particular you're looking at? What are you up to later on? <laughs> I love a man that hits on a pregnant woman. <laughs> That's oh, fantastic. Me. Congratulations. It kicked. Well, it did, actually. It kicked. <laughs> that might have been gas. Damn. Did you have any support for your role? Huge support. Ah. Huge support. I see. Yeah. Are you romantic? Yes, and, and I think flying is one of the most romantic. Remember Frank Sinatra's song, Come Fly With Me? Yes! Let's fly, let's fly away. You just sang to me. I'm so stoked. <laughs> uh, get all these things, like... Oh. Nice going! Oh my god! What do you think is the, the funniest thing that's ever happened on this set? All the girls got along really well one day. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Okay. Do you think the network's gonna do anything right. special for you guys? You know, like gold I'm watches, new cars. I'm hoping for a hooker and a handgun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a watch. <laughs> and uh, I have cars, so. I think that about says it all.